By the end of this video, you will be able to add multi-measure rests to the music that you are creating in MuseScore 4. Let's get started. So I'm working in MuseScore and I would like to combine the measures that I have here so that instead of seeing the measures written out one by one, I'd like to have them joined together and there'd be a number placed above them. And so in order to do this, all you need to do is press the letter M on your keyboard with your score open. So I press M and you can see it added the multi-measure rests to my piece. So you can see the current settings that I have, it added multi-measure rests to the entire piece. If you'd like to remove the multi-measure rests, you just need to press M again on your keyboard. And another way that you can add multi-measure rests is to go up to your format settings. So if I go up to the top left-hand side, I click on format, and then I click on style. And once I get to style, I'm gonna look on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna look for rests. Once you find rests, you can click on rests. And then there's a setting here from multi-measure rests. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And that's gonna turn multi-measure rests on. So you notice it turned the multi-measure rests on in the piece. And here are a couple settings that I have that I can fine tune my multi-measure rests. So the first setting is pretty important. It says minimum number of empty measures. So let's say uh, that first example where I had two measures together, let's say I actually would, would not want those joined together. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this three. So that way the minimum of empty measures needs to be three before it'll apply the multi-measure rests. I'm gonna see what that looks like. So I'm gonna press okay. And so now you can see I have multi-measure rests for the 28 measures at the end of this piece, but the two measures in the middle are no longer joined together. So I need to have three measures together before it'll apply the multi-measure rest setting. So let's go back up to the format style, and then we're gonna find rests again. And so you can see there are other settings as well. So I can change the minimum width, I can change the vertical position of the number. So if you want to change the number, so let's see what it looks like. Yes, you can see the number is changing on the right-hand side there as I change that. And again, there are a couple other settings here that will help you fine-tune your multi-measure rest settings. There's another option here for old-style measure rests. You can see what that looks like as well. Let's say press OK. You can see I didn't see much of a change in, with that setting, but you can play around with the settings and see if it works for you. So you now know how to add multi-measure rests to the pieces that you're creating in MuseScore 4. If you made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in how to change the playback tempo of the music that you're working on in MuseScore. I made another video that covers this in detail. I'll put a link to it here.